I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Venn Diagrams. Here is another interesting question from my subscriber Arum. Arum, thanks a lot for contributing so much to my playlist on Venn Diagrams. I hope most of my subscribers and viewers will benefit from it. The question here is, in a school, some of the subjects that it is possible to take are mathematics, additional mathematics and physics. The Venn diagram shows the combination of these subjects that are possible and the numbers and letters represent the number of students in each subset. So that's the Venn diagram. Given the number of students taking physics is 123, calculate the value of x, that means only physics. b. Given that one-sixth of those taking mathematics also take additional mathematics, calculate the value of y and hence find the total number of students taking mathematics. So that's the value of y which you need to find and this small set is the subset of mathematics students who are taking additional mathematics. I hope that makes sense. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with part A which says given the number of students taking physics is 123. So this big circle includes 20, 85 and X and their sum should be 123. Correct? So from the Venn diagram we know 123 should be equal to X plus 85 plus 20. Correct? So this circle here is for the students who have taken physics. So some of them have taken mathematics and also additional mathematics. So that is the equation which you need to solve. So x could be found as 123 minus 85 minus 20. That is the value of x. Correct? So when you take this, what do you get? You can use the calculator or just do it without that as the case may be. So you can take away 85 and 20. And that gives you the value of x as 18. So x is 18 for us. Now let's look into part b. Given that one-sixth of those taking mathematics also take additional mathematics. That means that ratio is one-sixth, right? Now in this particular diagram, how many students have taken mathematics but not additional mathematics that you need to figure out. So clearly the number is 85 plus 8y, right? So, so this number here is, so mathematics is all of them of course, but the students who have taken additional mathematics is 20 plus y, right? So let's read the condition. Given that one-sixth of those taking mathematics also take additional mathematics. So this number 20 plus y is one sixth of all who have taken mathematics, correct? So that is what it means. Given that one sixth of those taking mathematics, so everybody has taken mathematics, one sixth have taken additional mathematics. So that means the ratio 20 plus y over all of them, all of them means 85, plus 20, plus y, plus 8y, correct? All of them. So this ratio is 1 sixth. You get the idea. So that is what you get as the second equation, part b. Now, it's a question of solving this equation. You can cross multiply and then solve it. So let's cross multiply. 6 times 2, so we'll write here, 120 plus 6y equals 2. So all this taken on the right side gives us, let's add them, 85 plus 20 is 105 plus 8 plus 1, 9y, right? So that is what you get. Now you can bring the numbers on one side. So 120 take away 105 should be equal to 9y take away 6y. So that is 15 divided by 3, right? So, so that is equal to, that gives you y as equal to 15, there's less space here, so I'm just squeezing that in, right? So we get the value of y as 3. So first portion we have found 
and that is y is equal to 3. Let me write down here. So y is equal to 3. Now we need to find total number of students taking mathematics, right? So that is this big number in the denominator. Perfect. So let's put y as 5 in this and then figure it out. So this denominator is 105 plus 9y, right? So which is, let's uh, use another ink here and then write down. So total number of students who have taken mathematics will be equal to 9y plus 105, correct? And y is 5 for us. So that gives you 45 plus 105 or 150, correct? So the answer here is 150 for students taking mathematics, correct? So that is how this question can be solved. So I hope you find it systematic and logical. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And Arun, thanks a lot once again for sharing these valuable questions. All the best.